let us give you a few shortcuts to solve few questions okay so how will you score solve 240 into 5 if you have to solve 240 into 5 i i don't multiply 0 5 is 0 0 4 5 is 20 balance 2 4 uh, 2 5 is 10 10 plus 2 12 this is not the methodology but i'll follow 240 into 5 i'll take half of 240 it is 120 and at the end i'll multiply it by 10 1200 is my answer this is the shortcut you should follow and you should apply while solving the problems okay this is the shortcut for into 5 multiplication okay if i ask you a number 486 into 5 795 into 5 half of 795 3 and balance 1 19 half of 19 9 times 15 7 times 397.5 into 10 so 3975 is your answer okay now 268 into 5 what is half of 268 134 okay multiply 10 at the end 1340 is your answer now do you all understand this concept okay now if i take see if i ask you what is 66.66 percentage of 2400 okay if you know do by normal method 66.66 into 100 sorry divided by 100 into 2400 so 0 and 0 will get cancelled you have to multiply both the values right so it is tough okay see i'll repeat how will you do 66.66 percentage of 2400 66.66 percentage will represent as 66.66 by 100 into 2400 you can cancel two zeros and you have to multiply 66.66 into 24 so it is tough right so instead of that what you can do is 66.66 percentage is nothing but 2 by 3 2 by 3 into 2400 3 1 times 800 800 into 2 1600 is your answer so this is how you should work very smartly see i can also derive answer of 1200 from this methodology but it will take time but this is not the shortcut but this is not the method you should follow this is not the way you should solve you should know that 66.66 percentage of 2,466 percentage, its fractional value is 2 by 3. Okay. And if I ask you, what is 87.5 percentage of 1,000? 87.5 percentage is nothing but 7 by 8 into 1,000. And keep it in mind, all the thousands, all the three-digit numbers are divisible by 8. And all the four digit numbers are divisible by four. So this very this is a very basic thing you have to know. And 1800 is what? 100 times of 8 and remaining 125. Okay, 7 into 24. What is 7 into 125? 7 into 100, 700. 7 into 25, 175. So 875 is your answer. Okay, see, since it is 1000, okay. See so if you cancel directly, 87.5 by 100 into 1000 zero zeros will get cancelled 87.5 into 10 you'll get 875 but if i give you some difficult numbers like if i want to find out 87.5 percentage of 2400 what do you will do you have to multiply 87.5 into 24 right okay instead of that what i can do is 7 by 8 into 2400 8 1 times 2400 300 times so 7 into 300 2100 is my answer okay this is the shortcut which I follow while solving data interpretation part. That is your data analysis and sufficiency part. Okay, see if I give you numbers like 768 plus 244 plus 366. Can you tell me the answer? What is the answer now? Yes, come on. What is the answer? See, how will you do 768 plus 244 plus 366? Okay. Here, I'll add first 100 part, then 10 part, then 0 units part. It is very easy. 700 plus 200, 900. 900 plus 300, 1200. 60 plus 40, 100. 100 plus 60, 160. 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 6, 18. 
So one, three, seven, eight is your answer. Okay, this is how you have to solve. Okay, see, in data interpretation, they will give you some values. They will give you some number of employees in a company who are working in different departments. Uh, U, V, X, Y, Z. Okay, in the department U, there are 790 employees. In the department V, 840 employees are there. In the department X, 533 employees are there. And in the department Y, 655 employees are there. And in the department Z, 782 employees are there. So if they ask you what is the average number of employees working in a in in the year 1987 in a company ABC, they can ask you like this. Okay, first, what do you have to do? You have to add all the values, right? Okay, if the options are very close to each other, you have to do the accurate calculations. What I will do is I'll add just 100 values first. 700 plus 800, 1,500, 2,000, 2,600. 33, see, 3,300. Then 90 plus 40, 130, 160, 160 plus 50, 210, 210 plus 80, 290. And 3 plus 5, 10. So 0, 0, 3,600 is your answer. So 3,600 by 5. What is 3,600 by 5? 7 times 10, 2 times 720 is your answer. Okay, do you understand this now? How to do approximate addition and subtraction? Okay, so these are the strategies you have to follow while tracking your data analysis and sufficiency part.